The brutal challenges can be quite difficult as they're locked behind hard mode, so there's no way to beat them without getting good or cheesing it. We'll be doing the latter on every single fight, so consider subscribing to see more as I show you how to beat all of them with ease. And with that out the way, let's get into this, yeah? For brutal challenge Hillian's Intonement, we'll need Aerith as the main damage dealer. She boasts the highest magic stat in the game, and we're gonna abuse that. You're gonna need fire, and a lot of it. No enemy in this challenge resists it, so we'll be firing off on all cylinders. Fire has a huge hitbox to potentially cleave multiple enemies and stuns them. Even though it has a big hitbox, we'll be using Magnify to make sure it hits 3 targets. We'll be using Fire Aga, and by default the Aga version of any spell has the longest cast time, so we'll be speeding that up with Swift Cast. We want to deal the most damage, so Magic Focus is needed for 25% more damage. Aga spells need 2 ATB, so we'll want First Strike to start off the battle with 1. ATB boost will double this, so we have 2 so we could cast right away. Magic up to further boost her magic. Enemy skill for 5% more magic. This challenge had me dying to some encounters, so instead of running Cure and slowing our kill time, we'll be pushing the gas on the pedal with HP Absorption linked to another fire. This strategy can have infinite fire agas, but we currently don't have the MP pool for it. That's where MP Absorption comes in, and it fixes that problem. Phoenix is the best summon for 8 more magic stat. I went with the Plumus Rod since it boasts the highest magic stat with the most materia slots. The weapon skills on this weapon are meh, so use whatever. For accessories, we'll want the Genji Glove to surpass the damage cap. If you don't have this, just put on anything that further increases her magic stat. The second teammate might be a surprise to most, but did you know that Tifa has the second highest magic stat in the game? We'll be using the Fire and Ice Materia linked to Magnify. Just like Aerith, we'll want HP and MP Absorption linked to Fire. In order to have this second highest magic stat, she'll need Attack and Magic Swap Materia. The Strength Materia for even more magic stat. ATB Stagger to give herself a free ATB whenever she staggers an enemy. HP Materia so she could survive as she won't have any ATB to start the fight. Steadfast Block and Precision Defense Focus to further help her out. Luck up so she has a better chance to critically hit. Odin is the best summon materia for her. She'll want the crystal gloves for the most magic stats and the materia slots. These are the weapon skills I went with. For accessories, we'll be using the fury ring for 30% more damage. Our last member to round out the girl squad is Yuffie. For those of you who saw my video on her, then you already know. But if you haven't, just follow the materia setup and I'll explain during combat. First Strike and ATB boost so she could start doing her thing ASAP. With the two ATB, we'll want to use one of them on the Time Materia to give everyone haste because it'll be linked to Magnify. Speed up to further increase her ATB charge rate. HP up. Skill Master to give herself a free ATB for every three unique ATB commands she does. ATB Assist to give our allies free ATB every time we do two ATB actions back to back. We'll need her to survive at all costs, and Elemental Materia allows her to do so when it's linked to Lightning and Wind. This challenge has some hard-hitting wind attacks. Wording linked to Subversion so she can't be instantly killed. Steel Materia so she could use Mug for specific situations. Alexander is the best summon for her because of the defensive stats. Her best weapon is Crescent Sickle because it comes with opening ATB bonus and ATB charge rate up. For accessories, you want Speed Demon Keychain. If you for some reason don't have this, then go get this as nothing else comes close. I shortcut Brumal form so it's comfier to use. Now that we're prepared, let's go over the fight so you can breeze through them. You'll want Aerith as the leader. Hold down R1 and when combat starts, press L1 to activate ATB boost. Swap to Yuffie and use ATB boost and then haste. Afterwards, wait for the buffalo to use gouge. Once that's done, set up ATB Ward on Yuffie. While waiting, throw your weapon and do some basic attacks. Once ATB Ward is placed, spam Brumal Form. I suggest going left and right so you're always in the circle to activate it. Once Tifa has 2 ATB, use Fire Aga. Aerith will want to place an Arcane Ward under her. Once Aerith gets 2 ATB, use Fire Aga and repeat until they're dead. This is the new core strategy we'll be using in every fight.
Once the combo is set up, you'll want to fire Aga the modded sweeper. When one enemy is left, you could take off the magnify effect by pressing L1 for even more damage. Round 3 is a bit tricky, so let's break it down. Yuffie will want to haste as the enemy is using Yang Awakens. Once it's over, use ATB boost on Aerith and Fire Aga the dog. Swap to Tifa and find the Adjudicator, and stagger it. Once it's staggered, move away a little and then use Fire Aga. Finish the dog with whatever you have left. Round 4 is pretty chill, just do the basic combo. Round 5 is surprisingly easy, even though I remember it being really hard when I first did this challenge. Round 6 can seem scary as you will get really low on your HP, but once you're set up, the HP absorption will come into play, topping you up. You may have seen it in other fights, but it's definitely noticeable here. Round 7 is usually easy, but this attempt I had almost everything go wrong, but I decided to show you guys so you know how to recover from this. Everything starts off the same. What usually happens is you just Bruma form to dodge the swallow, but they caught me on the frame Yuffie was vulnerable. Thankfully, Tifa can still recover the run. One Blazaga and it's like nothing happened.
Round 8 can be difficult because the Hectize has Reflect, so we'll want to build up ATB once the foundation is laid out. This is where the Subversion material comes into play. Go over Breach and change it to Dispel. Once that's done, we could resume the combo. Round 9 is like round 6. You'll take a lot of damage, but it's okay because once you start firing off those Fyragas, you'll be healing up. Round 10 is the whole reason I had to change the team up from the last guide. We'll want to start off with a magnified stop, followed by haste. Throw your weapon and keep attacking until you get another ATB. Now haste again. The first haste was to cancel out the slow that the Tonberry put on us. Once Yuffie has another ATB, let that combo rip. And just like that, we're done. Hopefully you found this guide helpful, and if there's any unanswered questions, then ask down below. And if your materials aren't maxed out yet, then consider checking out the method I use to level up mine quickly right here. Until the next video, I'll see ya.